Howdy Doody, my name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you how to make some calcium powder and this is used as a supplement and you can just make it from eggshells. As opposed to throwing out your eggshells, you can prepare them in such a way to grind them into a powder and use them as a supplement. Now the daily dose or the required daily dose of calcium per day is approximately a thousand milligrams. That equals about half of an eggshell of a regular size egg, which also equals about just over a teaspoon of the powdered calcium that we're going to prepare from these eggshells. So calcium is required for nails, bones, and teeth. And they're not only required for us, but they're also required for our pets. So you can also make this powdered calcium and feed it to your dog and add it as a supplement. The size egg itself is about 75 calories. The egg shell is 94 to 97% is calcium. There are about 7,000 to 17,000 pores on the egg shell and that allows for oxygen, carbon dioxide and moisture to escape. There's about 6.5 grams of protein in one regular egg. It has vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin B12, folate, zinc, and iron. The egg yolk holds most of the nutrients and half of the proteins. But today we're just going to be looking at the egg shell because we want to get the calcium. In terms of pharmaceutical use, the egg shell is a great source of calcium so calcium supplements it's, it's also an added ingredient in anti-acids which is why one of the uses for this calcium powder is to add it to your coffee and it helps neutralize the acids and it gives you a smoother tasting cup of coffee through various sources such as egg farmers of canada which is an association that's comprised of over 1200 regulated egg farmers and also the American Egg Board and other associations based in Australia, new research, so through new research, dietary cholesterol found in eggs has little impact on blood cholesterol and heart disease. So they are now indicating that eating eggs is a heart healthy food. But we're just here to prepare the eggshells and then I can tell you a little bit how to use them. So in order to sterilize the eggshells so that we don't run the risk of bacteria or salmonella, we want to either boil them for 10 minutes, that would be boiling the eggshells for 10 minutes, letting them dry, and then turning them into a powder, or you can sterilize them by baking the eggshells in the oven at 225 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Now what to do with the eggshells until you've accumulated enough to bake them or boil them is you can take your eggshells as you're using them and cracking them and throwing them into the freezer in a Ziploc bag. Freezing the eggshells will not kill the bacteria. However, it will make the bacteria dormant until such time that you're ready to use the eggs and bake them. Another way that I store them is if I'm making a lot of hard boiled you want eggs. hard boiled your eggs for 10 minutes. So I've got eggs. My... The eggs were boiled for 10 minutes. So the shell is sterilized. And in this case, I would just break the egg. There's one that was broken. So if I'm just making hard boiled eggs, I make sure that the eggs are boiled for 10 minutes. And then once I go to use the egg, I can peel it with clean hands. I just peel them and let the eggshells either dry overnight because they are sterilized and then put them in the processor or I'll gather them all and I'll put them in the oven 225 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll leave them in there for 10 to 15 minutes. It really dries out the eggshells and then I can put them in my bullet or a coffee grinder and grind those shells into a fine powder. These eggs I've collected. The other thing that you want to do is use organic eggs. If you're going to be making something that 
um, for nutritional purposes, then you want to start off with the most nutritious ingredients you can possibly get. All your shells, and these are dry. So I have all my saved eggshells, and I just put them on a cookie sheet. Now I'm going to put them in the oven at 225 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until the shells are really dry and then I'll be able to put them in my bullet. Bacteria grows between 40 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order to kill the bacteria, you need to hit 165 degrees internal temperature of food. And that's why if you're cooking poultry, a chicken, you want to get an internal rating of 165 degrees to make sure that all the bacteria is killed before consuming the chicken. So the same goes for the eggshells. We're just raising it up to 225 degrees in the oven just to make sure that it is 100% killed off. I've got my shells in the oven and we've just got a few minutes left. And using eggshells as a calcium supplement isn't a new thing, it's actually an old thing. So sometimes old traditions become new again simply because they're reintroduced to us or there's more research done on it to kind of confirm what our ancestors already knew. The other way that you can use the calcium is in your compost and I've read different things about using it in the garden. I haven't used it myself. What I understand, you don't want to use just the raw eggshells in your garden because it will attract vermin. You want to be able to sterilize and turn it into a powder before you add it to your compost. And if you're adding the raw eggshells directly into the compost without sterilizing them, then it's recommended that you add it to a hot compost that's between 140 and 160 degrees. They also recommend that the eggshells be ground up into a fine powder because it's more easily absorbed and combined with the compost. So we've got our baked eggshells. I'm just gonna let that cool. A bit but the baking not only kills the bacteria it also dries the eggshells makes them nice and toasty which makes it very easy to blend into a fine powder so we're just going to let these eggshells cool down a little bit and then you're just going to put them so the eggshells are so brittle that you can crush them right into and i'm using a bullet but if you're using a coffee grinder and it will fit a lot if you crush them. And then you're just gonna pulverize them into a powder. So I've really packed it in there, but you just wanna put it in your bullet or your coffee grinder and grind, and grind until it's a fine powder. You can't see if it's a fine powder, you can hear it. Sounding a little finer. I think that's perfect. Powdery fine. Now you've got your calcium powder you can store it in an airtight jar so if you want to take this as a calcium supplement you can add calcium to baked goods breads cookies cakes you can add it to soups stews gravies you can add it to smoothies drinks teas you could you can also add this to your bird feeder food they say that the birds will benefit from the additional calcium producing much um, harder shelled eggs. You can also add the calcium powder to your pet's foods. For dog's food, um, it's especially good in bone health for your pet, but check with your veterinarian to make sure if there's any deficiencies in calcium for your pet to make sure that you're giving them a safe amount. So if you're excited to try this, I hope you like it. And if you like it, I hope you share it. If you'd like to see more content, I hope you subscribe. Get cracking.